Hey guys. Hey guys. We have arrived in St. Augustine. Or Close by. St. Augustine, as I have misspoken. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, didn't get any footage on the drive here. Sometimes that happens. But um, it's going to be just kind of a short stay, actually. Um, we got in last night. Had and, a busy day working today. And we're leaving in two days. And we leave Saturday. Um, and we were going to go check out a brewery tonight, but I realized Paco was due for a rabies vaccine, so we went and had that done. This was, it was due within a couple of days. This was yeah. the, really the only time we could do it, so. Yeah, and they really recommend you do it, um when you're going to be stationary for a little bit so if there's any adverse reactions you're not out on a trip or in the middle of nowhere or whatever so so we're staying in for the night so we can keep an eye on exactly. him exactly now sure we need to stay in tonight make sure he doesn't have any allergic reactions or anything like that yeah, i'm sure he'll be fine but um but yeah we're gonna play it safe mm -hmm. buddy um so yeah so uh saint augustine what is it? The the oldest continuously occupied, um, currently uh, occupied city in the, in the United States. Oh. Uh, yeah. So like lots of old architecture. I don't know if the night lights is still going on. I guess it's like really pretty lights around the city. Hopefully we can see that. I think my aunt is coming up tomorrow, and she and I are gonna walk around. Maybe go to the Fountain of Youth, or Maybe. Not. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned. Buddy, he's hungry. This is what happens when Paco... Oh, maybe she's hungry too. Which is great. So Pepper, um, we've, we've continued to give her fluids every other day or so. She ate her breakfast the last couple mornings, which is kind of huge. Yeah, she's doing really good. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, so she's in, she's on a high right now, yeah. so we appreciate all of your positive vibes and prayers yeah. or whatever you might be sending our way. It's you guys working. are to thank for that. Yeah, <laughs> but um, we know with, with her kidney disease that she'll have down days as well, and that's just kind of all part of it, but she's doing good. So, um, that's about all you can hope for. All right, well, we'll show you a little taste of St. Augustine.
We've got just a couple hours before Brad can meet us, so we're gonna stroll the streets a little bit. Empirical IPA. Empirical? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. Um, have they been around for a while? Brewery? Just last year. Wow. Well, Not impressive. even a full year. I tried three of their beers, um, all IPAs, and they were all delicious. One was a session. This is empirical, is very hoppy, and the Grove Island was very citrusy. Brad didn't get to drink this. So, Night of Lights is still going on. Uh, we thought we'd just do a quick drive around the downtown to check out the lights and then head back to the RV to kind of get packed up because we are heading out first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs>